Today is Krishna Janmashtami. The essence of Krishna's life is exuberance. In love, in war, in just about any kind of situation, he exhibited that a human being can live joyfully no matter what kind of strife we may be placed in. So, as a child, when he wants to eat butter, these neighborhood ladies will take away the butter. He's still joyful, but he pretends to be angry because otherwise they won't get the point. Uh, so this can happen in your life. Something that you love to do, somebody will come and disrupt it. Situations will take it away. People that you love most may disappear tomorrow morning, either due to disease, death or divorce, who knows which way. But I'm saying things that matter to you may not come with you any number of times. It could be food, it could be situations, it could be people and something or the other will not happen to you the way you think it should happen. When life does not happen the way you think it should happen, to be exuberant, to be joyful is very important because that is when there is substantial scientific proof today that only when you're exuberantly joyful, your body and your mind, your intelligence works at its best. And if you're in difficult situations, <laughs> it's most important that your brains work to its best, otherwise you'll sink deeper into the pit. So, it is not only the best way to live, it is the most practical way to live. Exuberance of life is the nature of existence. If you allow inertia to set into you, you are allowing death to come in a premature way. It will anyway come. A day will come when you will lie down <laughs> on your funeral pyre, where no matter what, you will not be excited. No matter what, you will not be exuberant. Inertia is one hundred percent settled, but right now when life is on, you must be exuberantly alive. This is Krishna, this is his message, this is his life. This should be everybody's life.